welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Rhonda Robson and I am a fluid artist in the middle of the United States of America. Today I am going to be doing some bloom experiments. This third one, I really like the colors of it. It's super soft, the white turned out well, and so I think you're gonna really like it. So let me get you down the canvas and let me show you how I did this one. Okay, so thanks for joining me. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and clicking that notification bell. All right, bye for now. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Here we go with another bloom experiment. The last experiment I did with the black cell activator, I made like a line and I blew it out and it was a lot of cell activator. And I think that that was the reason why. So I have my level on here just to show, just to remind you, make sure you level your canvases to the best of your ability where you're at. Okay, so let's go do another experiment. So I've got my white paint right here. I've got my ladle, I'm gonna grab my Tin can lid and it seems like the two ladles are about what is needed for this size of a canvas so we'll let that kind of go there actually I'm gonna get some of that off of there okay so this has got a few bubbles in there I see already so I'm gonna grab my spear my skewer and make sure that I pop some of those bubbles. Okay. Let's kind of spin this out a little bit. Looks like the way of the paint is over there. So let's bring it over here a little bit. Kind of make it a little bit more even. And uh, again, I have my canvas on push pens to bring it up the silicone is getting the silicone mats getting pretty wet so i may have to wipe off my mat later on i was kind of hoping to let the mat dry and use the skins but we'll see how it goes so anyway all right so let's start this time with uh some purple in the middle Let's go with gold. The other thing that I discovered when my husband came home and had, uh, he had actually went out and got groceries for us. So I went upstairs to help him unpack them. Actually I unpack because if he brings them, I unpack them. And I came down to look at my very first one and I noticed that there was some crazing happening. And when that happens, when you get some crazing, and sometimes you want that look and sometimes you don't want it. And I didn't want it. I don't, I'm not looking for that right now. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to make sure that my cell activator had enough white because what that happens is the white paint doesn't bind together. So I added some more Amsterdam white to this to hopefully help it with that crazing. Okay, so let's put, oh, and there I see a chunk of white right there. I thought I'd mix this good. Let's put some just right there in the middle. And again, I don't want to use too much. So I'm going to blow it with my blow dryer. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to bring this up to me and blow it with my mouth. Let's try that. Okay. I'm going to kind of move it over here a little bit in the center more. Okay, so that worked out pretty nicely, except for I feel like I'm very lightheaded right now, um, but we'll let that paint kind of come back into the center and then I will spin it and see how that looks. I like these colors together, they're kind of cool. And they're all pearl metallic. 
from Marteza or the um, Deco Art metallic. So there's some really cool stuff there. Got some good cells happening there. So I'm going to keep waiting for a little bit. I think the key to this is allowing it to come back into the center before you start spinning it out um, as well. So I'm going to kind of wreck this a little bit where I'm going to bring my palette knife and I'm just going to kind of go like that in these kind of in between areas where there's not much blowout. I don't want to wreck that area. Okay, I want to I want to see what it does if I swipe this across here. Swipe it across there. Most of that white is the white paint underneath. It is not the cell activator. So, although I think I'm going to get a little cell activator on my palette knife and try that. Let's try that. Why not, right? So this is looking really cool as it's kind of coming back in to itself. So I'm going to grab a picture here. See how the cell activator um, started doing stuff there? That's pretty cool. I'm kind of liking it. What do you think? I'm going to bring it a little closer here. All right, should we spin it? So it's got a little cell activator going on there. <gasps> yep, that's what happens. I knew that was gonna happen. Too much paint. That's okay. So what I might do is, I may figure out a way to make sure that that doesn't slip off, right? So it's like, <laughs> yeah. Okay, this one was with my mouth. I'm gonna think I'm gonna do the same colors in the same order and not um, necessarily with my mouth. So I'm gonna move that back into the center and come off that corner over there. It's really pretty. See, I told you um, blue and yellow. I told you this in my last, one of my very first videos that the blue and yellow kind of creates kind of a green blue. And that actually kind of looks kind of cool on here. So you can kind of see that. So now I'm going to take it down to that corner a little bit. And that was the swiped corner that I did with the bring some of that paint there. I think um, what I would like to do is, oops, it's not good, is maybe make sure that my white paint is all the way off the sides so that way it spreads a little bit easier. I'm just going to grab a little bit of paint in my, just kind of come along here, help that, help with this corner here. And that one there. Came off this corner, but 
the sides aren't completely covered. Alright, so let's go ahead, let's tilt this back so it's in the center a little bit more. That center blowout. I really like these colors, um, the metallics, they're really pretty. Let's see if we can get some of this spun off of here before it spins off the silicone mat. <laughs> <Yeah. gasps> see, did it again. Yeah, okay. So let's just not spin right now. Let's just stretch. I gotta get that corner fixed over there. And let's bring it back to the center. I think this is gonna be overstretched now that it's come off the silicone mat. Yeah, see how slippery it gets? It's not sticky anymore. So, bummer. I'm just gonna have to clean it off if I'm gonna use it. Or if I'm gonna use um, if I'm gonna use thumbtacks, I'm gonna have to. Let's just go ahead and take these thumbtacks off for now. And I'm gonna spin it again because now it's all wonky because I've been overstretching it. See what I mean by wonky? Okay, there we go. All right. Now hopefully it'll suction cup kind of to that mat for right now. Let's go. again. So yeah, so I'm losing everything. Um, so I'm just gonna like really spin it hard and then uh, be done. Okay. So we'll see what that happens with that one. You never know, it could be look at really cool, but at least it was suctioned down when it was being spun. So, all right. That's that one. Thanks for watching. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so that way you can get notified when I have a new video up. Thank you for watching and have a great day.